All right, boys and girls, I'm going to show you a much better method to farm runes, and this one is really insane. You can get between 50,000 to 70,000 a minute. Not every seven minutes, a minute. So what we're going to do is, uh, before I reveal to you the method, you're going to hit that like button, and you're going to destroy that subscribe button, and you're going to tell your friends about your boy RFox305 that's going to help you tremendously you know get rules and get certain items in this game and it's good he's gonna give you a lot now um pretty much the uh the method involves you have to do a small quest line right you're gonna do a small quest line you're gonna be at the very start of the game when you come out of the tomb you're gonna be in your first grace it's actually the first step you're gonna be exactly at the first step right at the first step there's an npc here with a white mask you're going to talk to this guy. He's going to say a couple of bad things about you. How you're maidenless and all that crap. Exhaust the, the, the dialogue, whatever. And I think once you either get your mount. Or you complete Storm Veil. I think it's once you get your mount. You try to come back over here. And he's no longer at the spot. He's going to give you like like one of those uh, messages. Like the, the players kind of do. Over here, you're gonna you're gonna try to interact with it. I think he reveals the location where he's at, but I'm gonna tell you exactly where he goes next after that. So he's gonna be by the church, by the Rose Church. I marked it for you guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let it there for two seconds so you guys can pinpoint it with pinpoint accuracy where exactly you need to go. All right. So now we need to make ourselves go there and continue the small quest line. So we're gonna go to Boil Prank Shack. If you don't have that, um, if you don't have that grace, you need to get it. Take a look where it's at. It's pretty simple. Once you complete the stone veil, or you don't need to actually complete the stone veil. If it doesn't require it, you just need to go around it and that's it. You're going to find this grace. It's pretty simple. This, they, they, point, they point to each other. So once we're here, we're going to be right into that church. I'm going to fast forward it though. So let's go. Alright, so we're here at the church, and now he should be, he should be right here. For me, he's not because I completed that small quest line, but you're going to talk to him, he's going to be there, you're going to talk to him, you're going to ex exhaust the dialogue, and he's going to give you five bloody fingers. You're, what you're going to do with those five bloody fingers, you're going to invade other players three times. Alright, he doesn't tell you that you need to invade those players that amount of time, but you, you need to invade the players three times it doesn't matter if you kill them if you disconnect or if they kill you once you have done invading those three players I, I mean once you have done those three invasions you're gonna talk to him again and exhaust the the, the the dialogue and he's gonna give you a piece of cloth a piece of white cloth and he wants you to douse it on a maiden's blood now, the next part of the quest line is going to take us to the four belfries. I got a mark for you, fellas. Right? I got a mark. It's really simple. All you got to do is find the, co the Cuckoo's Evergold. Then you're going to have to find the food of the four belfries. And we are going to be fast traveling there right now. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to turn like this. And I'm going to fast forward it from this point on just a little bit, right? So remember, all we got to do is make it through the road all the way to the top of our place. I already got a grace, but I want to show you guys the, the route that you have to take. So let's go. All right, so we are we are at the four bell fries, right? But we need to make it. We need to use one of these portals. You do not want to activate this portal you want to activate the next one but it's gonna be closed and the way for you to activate this portal is that you need to get a magical stone sword stone word whatever it is that, you, that, that, that it is named and you got only one in this area in this very spot you're gonna go all the way to the top you're gonna open the chest you're gonna get the magical item and you're gonna go back over there to that little tower. You're gonna activate the portal. 
and you're going to go through the portal. Alright, if you guys see what I'm seeing, this is the very first part where you when you actually start the game before you you, uh, you actually die. Yeah, this is the spot. And you're going to be fighting the same monster in this area that killed you. So you got a box here to deal with. Once you kill this guy, you're going to keep going this way now. And then inside of that church... This lady right here is the maiden, so you need you're gonna interact with her. I cannot interact because, like I said, I've completed the quest line. Once you have done that, you are going to go back to the same guy again. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is cut the segment because you guys already know how to get there. All right, all right, so we are back at the church, and you guys are going to talk to this guy again and exhaust the dialogue. After you exhaust the dialogue with this guy, he's going to reward you with this item. It's called the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. And he's going to tell you not to use it, but you are going to ignore this guy and use it. Alright? So we're going to use it. And you're going to get to this place called Mockwing Palace. You're facing this, the, the stairs. Now, if you want to get the map for this area straight up, you go up the stairs. And you loot this dead body. And you get the map. Otherwise. Alright, so remember, we were facing the stairs. Now we're going to turn. And you're going to follow. We need to get to that place. We're going to get to that place right now. Just follow me. Ignore everything and be careful. The enemies in this place are really powerful. And stick all the way to your right. Do not worry. That's just a lake of blood. It's not actually the rock. And you're going to come to this place. Ignore the enemies. All right. Once we pass this whole bunch of fellas, there's gonna be a grace over there. You're gonna, we're gonna interact with it and reset the whole thing. Right, boys and girls, so what you're going to need for this part, this is a spot where you form the runes. You're going to need a bow. Any bow will do it. And any type of arrow could be the cheapest one. You're going to shoot only once, all right? And you're going to need something like can kill multiple enemies in, in one blow, in one hit. Like any type of spells that do that. Or radan swords, any weapon skills that can, that can do massive damage to more than one enemy will be great. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to stand here and shoot this dumbass bear. And he's going to come and fall to his death. And that's going to give you your first 13,000 rooms. Now we got some healing guns with a bomb swords. This is why I'm using this weapon. You see these guys are sleeping? Alright, watch this. That was a whooping skeleton cake. So you see I actually got 51,000 runes in probably in like a minute and a half to be to be fair, right? But like I said, if you got like some sort of spell that can actually uh, in some AoE spell that can kill them quicker, you should do that in a minute. Now we're going to try this. We're going to reset. The good thing is the grace is right here so we're going to reset. And this time we're gonna we're gonna do it with the golden pickle. Sometimes this bird will not come. I so keep that in mind. I mean, he will come, but not fall to his death. 
Oh, so we got 70,000 for that. Alright, so now we're going to... Stop it. I'm gonna kill these guys now. And voila, and if you want to get greedy, you can kill those four. And you can see, I actually went from 50,000 to 90 to 90,000 on with a golden pickle. Of course, I kill an extra four, but you get the idea. This is a very nice spot to form runes, fellas. Because all you gotta do is keep resetting, keep shooting the dumb bird, and kill the rest of the guys. And you got yourself a nice spot. You never have to worry about ruins ever again. And if you do the math, and if we, do, if we bring a couple of golden pickles, you know, you do the math. 90,000 a minute. Plus 60. That's probably like 6, 7 million runes an hour. Maybe more, right? But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that math. I'm here to show you guys how to have a better, uh, method to farming runes here you got it like and subscribe otherwise i'm gonna go get you sucker thank you bye bye fellas